Uh, one thing um, I'm always asked by students is uh, which paints should I use? Should I use the uh, um, student quality or artist quality? Well, it kind of really depends on uh, how much you're prepared to spend on uh, all these products. And I know that when you go into a, a, an art shop, you, you can be confounded by the enormity of the choice. But I'll just give you a little explanation of uh, the difference between the artist quality paints and, uh, and student quality paints. I have a couple of them here. Um, this is an artist quality paint. Uh, with the artist quality, you get high pigment, pigment uh, levels uh, between, you know, there's a high uh, ra ratio between the pigment level and the, the binder, which means you get greater coverage. Uh, you know, you use less paint to cover the same kind of area that you would with student quality paint. Um, often the pigments are more intense. Uh, for example, you know, real cadmium uh, will will give you a very very bright red, um, whereas the student quality uh, paint would probably uh, use a synthetic pigment, uh, and the coverage will be less intense. Um, the problem with uh, the artist quality paints is they're very expensive. Uh, a two point tube, two hundred mil tube of, uh, of artist quality cadmium red might cost you. Um, somewhere between 30 and 40 euro, whereas a student quality one could, uh, could you could get it for 10 or 12 euro. So, uh, very expensive. The student, student paints have a, uh, a lower pigment load. As I said, the, the, quality, the pigments are synthetic, so they, they'll have a less, uh, less of a colour saturation. But there again, the prices are even across the range. You get a whole range of, uh, of paints, it'll all be the same price. And they've managed to do it that way because of these synthetic pigments. But having said that, I definitely use brand names. Uh, you know, for example, Winsor & Newton or Sennelier or uh, De La Rone. Because they've got a reputation to keep intact, don't buy those paints from, uh, uh, from supermarkets, the ones with the tiny little tubes. I think you could uh, you could go down a very frustrating uh, road. These paints really, I think, uh, they're for school-going children. I really don't think they're worth buying. So stick to the brands. Um, I hope that's gone some way of explaining the, the difference be, uh, between the paints to you. And you can get perfectly good paintings out of student quality paints. Just be aware of, the, of, uh, of what, what you're actually using. And also, you could start a painting off with student quality paints and then finish it using uh, artist quality paints. We use very much less paint then. Okay, see you next time.